What's up guys, Joey here from schoolofmotion.com on behalf of the Foundry. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you're just getting into Nuke, then there's a few things you're gonna have to wrap your head around and one of them is the concept of pre-multiplication. So that's what this video is about and I'm going to attempt to explain it to you in less than five minutes. So let's hop into Nuke. So here we are in Nuke, and I've loaded in two TIFF files. One is going to be my background, and that's this nice image of some mountains with a lake. And the other image is going to be my foreground. And this is an image of a hawk. And if I hit A, you can see the alpha channel that came along with this TIFF file. All right. So in theory, we have an alpha channel that matches the contours of the bird, and that should be all we need to composite the bird over this image. So let's just try it. We're gonna use a merge node, which is one of the most commonly used nodes in Nuke, and this is the node that composites one thing over another. And the way it works is by compositing A over B. All right, so now I'm gonna look through that merge node and we are gonna see a big problem here. Uh, the background has been kind of tinted blue. Um, the bird looks okay, but the background got all messed up. So once again, if you look at the original, you can see how nice and, and crisp this image looks, and then once we've merged the bird over it, it looks all wrong and, and, you know, our client would be very unhappy if we gave this to them. So what do we need to do to fix it? Well, let's go back and look at this image for a second. Now we have an alpha channel, all right? And one of the things that you may not know coming from After Effects is that there's a step that happens before a foreground gets, gets uh, composited over a background and that step is called pre-multiplication. What happens is all of these colored pixels get multiplied at times their alpha channel and the effect of that is all of the pixels on the outside of, uh, of the bird are going to turn black and all of the pixels on the inside of the bird are going to stay the same and what's really important are these pixels along the edge here, these gray ones, they are actually going, going to darken uh, those pixels on the bird just by a little bit, which is going to make the composite work. All right, and an easier way to think about it is to think of this as a giant sheet of cookie dough, uh, and we have this nice bird-shaped cookie cutter, and we're just going to use that to, to kind of stamp out the dough and turn all this stuff black because we don't need that, okay? So I'm going to use a pre-mult node. All right, to do that step of pre-multiplying. And once we've done that, you can see right away, all of the outside pixels turn black. We've gotten rid of the background, okay? And now when we look through the merge node, voila, we have a perfect composite. Well, it's not perfect, but now we're ready to color correct and, and do all the things we need to do to really make it feel like this bird is in this environment. So that is the concept of pre-multiplication. Now there's actually some math going on behind the scenes and if you're into that sort of thing, you can head over to schoolofmotion.com and check out the article called Pre-Multiplication Demystified. And that will explain exactly what's going on. You don't need to know that, um, but some of you may want to and it, it might just help your understanding of compositing get a little bit better. So thank you guys for watching and uh, if you watch the next video in the series, we'll talk about how to deal with grading pre-multiplied images and, and how to manage them. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you later.